throughout the islands, there's no movement. Everything's shut down now. Rather strange on the streets, seeing these beautiful city streets utterly devoid of people. The only things that are open, frankly, are the hospital and the work that we're doing here to get prepared to take more COVID-19 patients. Here in the Bahamas, they're suffering from a COVID-19 epidemic, just like the rest of the world, but even more here on a small island that has a lot less resources. Hospitals were overwhelmed and people were dying, not just here, but in other islands also. So we, Samaritan's Purse, agreed to come here and set up this COVID treatment unit behind me. It's a 28 bed facility that is designed to take care of only COVID-19 patients. Initially, 25 people came aboard the DCA from Samaritan's Purse. We've been working alongside staff from Princess Margaret Hospital to get this up over the last two days. The first patients will arrive Monday morning. I first got experience with COVID-19, this virus, when I deployed with Samaritan's Purse to Cremona, Italy at the beginning of this year. And I just saw the effects of this virus and what it does to people, what it does to the family members, what it does when you're separated from your loved one. And so if we can alleviate any part of their stress or anything that they need, then I want to be a part of it. So I just want to say thank you uh, from the team here. I just ask that you would pray for us, pray for the Princess Margaret Hospital as it battles this epidemic alongside of us. But most of all, pray for the patients who each and every one of them will be fighting through this disease alongside of us. Thank you.